What's up everybody? It's Goose. It's the day I've been waiting for right here. We're ready for the spring flush. We're moving off of this old short beat up pasture and we're going back to this beautiful forage. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, so I have the yearlings running right there right now. Uh, they were in the pen behind that, but now they're in there. Um, so I'm going to let them trim that for a few hours before I move them. Um, I'm about to take uh, my bottle babies to be disbudded. Um, and I'm running out of time. I'm running a little late. So I'm going to move the nannies. Um, let them have the first choice on this. They'll go in here and eat all the best forage. And I'll let them have it for a few hours. And then here this afternoon, I'll move the yearlings with them. Um... But we're ready to go because man this stuff is chewed down it's not terrible i've seen worse but oh we're ready to go on this nice oh dropped my phone ready to go on this nice uh pasture up here so go ahead and give them a call hopefully the kids fall along come on go yeah we're ready i've been i've been messing with them all day because i've been i moved the kids over into that kid pen um, so I've been worried about some of them going through the fence, some of the ones that I just recently took their kids. Uh, so when I come, I'd, I'd come over here and call them and get them over here. So, uh, so I didn't have to worry about them going through the fence. I was worried about this sassy little goat. It's my three liters right there. <laughs> All right, y'all ready? Come on, go. There's a few kids, so I'm trying to wait on them because they're going to get confused. Come on, go. There's a eight or nine, ten, something. Quite a few kids in here, and this is their first move, so we're all learning. I got a little itty bitty over there. Uh, her sisters, she was that quad, one of the quads. Her sisters are bottle babies now, but I'm leaving her on the mom for a little while longer because she was the she was the runt she's itty bitty but uh i wish those two those two little babies in the back would come they're starting to come on go mama's calling to them those two in the background running the brown one and the white one that's their mom right here calling to them come on go all right i think that's as good as we're gonna get it for now so let's open this gate ready girls come on go Let's see what we go for. Come on, go! <laughs> hey, big boy, you ain't scared of nothing, are you? That's my my single buckling. He was born at nine pounds. He ain't but three weeks old now. Come on, little girl. Your mama's over here. She's too busy eating to call you. Come on, go! <laughs> that went that went rather well. We got a few stragglers. Um, hopefully they'll follow. But uh. Right now, I'll get behind them. I can't catch these guys. Um, once they get about a week old, you can't catch them unless they're they're a friendly bottle kid. Um, but I'm going to try to push them through here. They're looking for their mom right now, but their mom's too busy eating to call them. So I'm just going to... This is going to be difficult. Uh, they're used to that fence being there, and they've been shocked. So they don't... They're not planning on trying it. <laughs> Come on now. Come on. Go ahead. Oh, y'all are so close. Come on, go ahead. And I got itty bitty back behind me, but uh, they're gone. I'll leave them alone. I'm gonna go back here and get behind itty bitty. I think they're gonna go. They, they see that opening. Goats have really good eyesight. This little girl, I guess I'll try to catch her and herd her in the same direction at the same time, because she's quick. I could catch her with both hands, but Right now I'm fixing to use my left hand and I'm right handed, so go on little girl. Alright. Got her? <laughs> Pretty girl. Hey, y'all gotta go ahead through. Y'all gotta go ahead through. Come on. Come on. I thought y'all was gonna do it. Come on. Mama's over there. I promise. Go ahead. That one's so close over there. She's about to do it. If you push them too hard, they'll just take off running. So 
You got to be slow about it. Oh, she's going to touch the fence. I know you know better. Oh, we're right there. Um, it'd be a lot easier if I could use my hands right now to direct them. Oh, they are used to there being a fence there. Some of the, some animals when you first move them, especially kids, um, young animals, it, it takes them a minute to get it. But there we go. They'll follow her. Yeah, there we go. I love this little brown goat. I'm so happy they're dolings. We're keeping them. All right, so I'll get them away from this gate. I don't have to worry about closing this gate because these goats are not going to try to go back with all this good forage. The kids might. That's why I'm walking them away from it. Um, once they go in here and find Mama, though, they're going to be fine. I got I got this little girl. I got Itty Bitty. We'll put her here with her, her mom, and that's her grandma right there. Little brown goat next to her. Okay. So, uh, everybody's in here, and look, look how jealous we are over here. They're just standing on the fence line, like, man, that's not fair. Uh, but I'm gonna move them here in a little while. So, just gotta, gotta give the, the nannies the best stuff because they are raising kids and producing milk. So, sorry guys, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get this gate. I got it a little too tight, so it's kind of hard to do with one hand. <laughs> All right, I'm six minutes in. We'll, we'll watch this for a minute. I could sit out here and watch them eat like this all day, but I don't know if other people like to. Videos don't do it justice. It's so much better in person. Uh, I think sometimes I make my videos a little too long just sitting out here watching them, so I'm going to try to quit doing that. If y'all want long videos of goats eating grass, let me know and I'll, I'll I'll do some of those it's pretty easy for me I, I like going down here and watching them watching them eat oh little baby little baby's over here eating clover uh, <laughs> we got great forage out here this is it's had I'll have to look but I think it's had six weeks rest it's well over a month rested um, and I put down a uh, 50 pounds of seed out here. It was a mixture. It was a uh, perennial ryegrass and a few different fescues. <laughs> the kids are happy, man. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I got a lot of sprouts. But uh, we're going to take them through here, let them nip it, get the very best. We're going to leave them in here for four or five days, maybe a week. We'll see. Uh, and then I need to go to the woods. I need them to to clear out the woods for me because I need to rotate the pigs but I need them out there first so but uh anyway I have to get these kids ready to go and uh get to Manchester and get them disbudded already uh I'm already running a little bit late so I need to get out of here I'll see y'all later goose out <laughs>